Clarity Nation. What's going on? <clears throat> Hope y'all having a good day. Tuesday. Tuesday at the time of this recording. So here's the deal, yo. You see, the results of your life, or the lack thereof, have a direct correlation <clears throat> to the habits, the consistency, the routines, the rituals that you have within your life. It doesn't matter whether you want to call them habits, routines, or rituals. It's kind of all the same. So I don't know why I used all three. But the discipline, the consistency, the dedication that goes into them is absolutely key. You see, the thing is a lot of us just have our eyes closed and we're stumbling around through life and we're hoping that we just whoosh, walk into some sort of results, whoosh, walk into some sort of success, walk into some sort of a better life. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen like that. You might get lucky every now and then, but it's going to be few and far between, right? It's the habits. It's what you do every single day in your life, day in and day out. That, having the intention, right? You got to do it with intention. You got to build something, something intentional that moves you towards whatever mission you're trying to accomplish, whatever targets or goals you're trying to complete. It's that simple, right? Health. You want to lose weight, build muscle, doesn't matter. It's a simple formula. You either need a calorie surplus or a calorie deficit, and you need to be active every single day. You want to be more calm, more centered, more zen. Well, there's a lot of mindfulness practices that can help you accomplish that, that need to be ingrained in every single day. You could meditate for five, 10 minutes, right, a day. You could use breathing techniques like box breathing or alternative nostril breathing to help you get in a flow state, to help you center yourself. Yoga is another one for mindfulness. So you're forward, you're matching your breath, your movement. It's helping you stay grounded, centered, and present, right? Spirit, what are you doing to ignite that fire within yourself, to ignite that power within yourself to produce at higher levels, to become more than you are today? What are you doing? There's a lot that can cultivate that spirit, right? That comes down to what you're doing with your body. That comes down to doing what you're, that comes down to what you're doing with your mind. If you're a religious person going to church, if you're not a religious person, meditation, journaling, journaling is always a big one. Take an emotional poop every single day. Journal, write things down, get out the frustrations, get it all down on paper, burn the, burn the paper you wrote it on, burn the journal. Type it up. You're like me. Type it up on your computer. You can always print it out and burn it later. And then you still have a copy if you ever want to go back and revisit mindsets as you're on your growth journey. Right? Business. Stepping into your power. If you're not intentional in business, if you're not intentional with your words, with your actions, if you're not intentionally going out there every single day, marketing, building your brand, driving sales, finding new clients, and most importantly, you got to fulfill and you got to follow through at the end of the day. If you're not doing these things, stepping into your power, if you're not stepping into your power and you don't have these rituals built out to foster that, it's not going to happen. Here's the thing. It doesn't take much. You can dedicate an hour a day, two hours a day, you can break it off each quadrant into 15 minute chunks, right? First thing in the morning, get your mind right, learn something new, teach it, get your mind right, get yourself in the zone, get yourself in a flow state for your day, for work. And then you can always do a better workout later, right? 15 minutes, it's going to be sustainable, but you're hardly going to break up a sweat depending on what you're doing. So you can hit your workout later on in the day through your schedule thing. I do everything first thing in the morning because I like to have it out of the way. Otherwise, life happens, it gets busy, and I just don't do anything. And then I just go down a downward spiral, kicking myself in the ass because I'm not doing the things that I know I need to do. And an evening ritual before bed helps a lot too. Your habits, your routines, they'll make or break you. If you're not consistent, if you're not disciplined, and you're not dedicated, you're going to be in the same spot today or next year as you are today. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in.
Cheers, guys.